Hello, welcome to the uh, CES 2024 and welcome to the booth of Audify. And please follow me. We will show you our latest technology, which is uh, amazing and uh, this is a totally innovative product. You have a, a good show so far? Yeah, we have a great show here. So many people come to booths and so surprised with our product. And we will bring you to experience our product. Let's go to the, to the sofa right here. You have a, a living room experience. Yeah. Uh, you have a living room experience where I'm sitting down right now. And uh, I'm the only one who can hear this. If I move a little bit to the side, I don't hear anything anymore. It's like totally focused. Correct. And uh, all of this uh, appearance, it was generated by the two pieces of glass panels. You see, this is totally transparent. You can easily walk, look through this. And this is, uh, looks like just a normal glass, but it's totally different with a complicated process. And that panel will emit the sound, being a very narrow, directive angle towards to the coach. And uh, you added the subwoofer here? We added the subwoofer here, and uh, this subwoofer providing the extra bass and also supporting Bluetooth, USB, and the audio enhancement and for the gaming enhancement as well. So all this system work together to make sure that the, the people who are sitting in the middle of the coach can get the best sound. And if you stand up or step away, right. you more or less hear nothing. That's amazing. Yeah, that's, that's really cool. Uh, th so the subwoofer is also not disturbing around. No. And it's adding the bass part. Right? Adding the bass part to have uh, make you feel a little bit also immersive in the uh, uh, in while you are watching TV or watching the video or watching the movie. Yeah. And uh, here, let's try this one. So let me uh, let me try this one. Uh, you can see my reaction. Ooh. Nice. Oh, wow. So, I just go to the side, there's nothing. I come here, full sound. Come this way, ah, there's nothing. I stand up, there's nothing. All right. Yeah. All right, this, this, this works. This works, it's perfect, right? Is it very expensive technology? Yeah, I would say this is not expensive technology. We're trying to make it so everybody can afford this. And this is a new technology, and we're trying to bring to you as uh, Amazon or some other place you can get it. All right. And here, when people arrive at the booth, they get the, to experience it right in front here. When you stand here, you get yeah. the sound. And here, you get nothing. You can hear it. And here's nothing. All right. That's cool. Interesting, right? So what are the applications? Ah, I will say that this is, can be good for the office purpose while you have a video conference call and you don't want to pay the headset for hours but you want to, uh, I will say, don't want to disturb the people who are sitting next to you. So this is a good uh, device to help you to finish this function. Nice. And uh, you also can integrate because uh, it's transparent, right? You could put it on top of the screen. Exactly. I will show you something. Yeah? Yeah, come on. So, so to put it on top of the screen, do you need a, is an extra layer? Hello. Hey. Uh, please introduce your colleague. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Hello, please come in. Oh, what do we have here? Yeah, please take a seat here. Right. What we have here is the monitor with the uh, uh, focus on screen integrated already on top of the screen and you, you cannot see any difference with normal monitor, but it's have an acoustic function already. It knows where I am in front of the screen and it's just gonna show only to me. Yes, correct. Because it can direct directional sound. Correct. The up also? There is a camera to yeah. trace your face, trace your ear, and project sound precisely to your ear only. Can we try to change the song? Uh, of, of course. Is it on there or on there? Yeah, on there. On there? Yeah, we can change. Let's try to skip to... Right. So it's like the mid and highs, right? Yeah. 
And uh, if you want the base, you need to add a little subwoofer down here. Correct. But that's also not bothering everybody in the room. No. Because uh, it's not like mids and highs. Correct. All right. Uh, is this a, like a, a prototype of the next gen or is right now available this uh, technology? That, pro that will be available quickly on the market. Yeah, we are working on the final step to try to finish everything, yeah. All right. Uh, and what's the transparency? Our uh, transparency is pretty high. You can, from this prototype, you can see that there's no difference with a normal uh, monitor. So the transparency is above the 80, 85 or even higher. And uh, when I look, here, I see that you did something, huh? You yes. put something on the screen. It's just a normal screen, you added something. Yeah, we added a piece of the very thin film on top of the monitor, and we added something, and uh, yeah. So this is what we're secret here. The secret sauce. Do yeah. you make with a printed uh, technology, printed electronics? Uh, we are using the aging process, and uh, we are using the stack process, uh, lamination process, and uh, uh, to make it happen, yeah. Is there like a silver nanowires or something happening? Yes. Maybe? Yeah, yeah. maybe. Uh, and so, because that's the technology that's been used for a touch, right? Oh, yeah. Some people use it for capacitive touch. Uh, it's compatible with touch. But some, somehow... We can it, integrate it together with the touch process, with the acoustic screen uh, together, and uh, for the final user, you just need one piece of film have a post functionality. Post function, and it will be the same quality touch? Exactly. It will not impact the touch, no. but it will add sound? Yes, correct. That's amazing. But it's just glass? It's uh, more than glass. There's also... Because so it's, it's, it's made by glass, but more than glass, we have a glass substrate and a, sub, and a stake couple of layers to make the acoustic function. Yeah. And uh, so, that, you know, like, uh, let's say you, you do optical bonding. Some company do all optical bonding for the capacitive touch. Yeah. They can integrate your technology directly exactly. in the process. Exactly. Exactly. We can put together with the uh, cover glass and the touch screen, and then the immediately have the, you make your screen have the functionality of the acoustic. Because uh, let's say there's a, a, a big touch screen here, yeah. and some people are small, some people are tall, some people are fat, some people yeah. are, you know, uh, it will be able to direct it up and down and up. Of course, just exactly as you just saw. I would say at this moment, we, can, we have chance to steer yeah. the sound beam to track the person exactly we want to project the sound yeah. to. All right, so can do up any direction. Yeah, any direction is possible. And it's not too expensive. Not so expensive. Yeah. So it will be everywhere? Yeah, could be, yeah. Could be. This is what we want to do. Exactly, we want to target for everywhere. But uh, you just need to have a, a nice integration with the subwoofer, guys, to put it nicely on the side of the screen. Correct. So nobody can see there's a subwoofer. Good idea. And maybe you only turn on the subwoofer when there's somebody there. Uh, exactly. This is one of the use cases here. For example, you have a big family, you have uh, elder people and uh, young people, and you, you are watching TV together, and you are never have a chance to find the right volume for everybody. Right? Because some people will complain the volume is too high, some people complain the volume is too low. Really? Yeah. I would say uh, when your people are getting old, uh, the hearing problem will get a little bit, I would say, the loss. And then, the normal TV volume probably not sufficient for them. They want to increase the volume, but the, the children and the young generation, they will complain that volume is too loud. So with this technology, we have a hearing aiding function, which could project a specific audio beam to the people who need the hearing aiding fun uh, function. And then we will, uh, without increase the TV's volume, we will make the everybody have a same quality of the audio. It's not going to add distortion if you increase too much the volume? No. You can have a limit? We have a limit. You yes, can figure course. out what is good quality, no distortion? Yeah, we, we will keep the same quality for everybody. Yeah. Wow, that's cool. And it's possible, uh, sometimes I see those videos, people have like a car or something, yeah. and uh, they talk about 28 speakers in the car, and I don't understand how many speakers they need, yes. you know? But you can have more and more speakers maybe around. Yes. Potentially, you can have in the screen, outside the screen. Correct. Uh, actually, we are also working quite a lot with the automotive company and the tier one, and we're trying to introduce this technology into the vehicle in a short time. And uh, there are so many use cases will explode 
I would say the, uh, with this technology. For example, while you're driving a car on the street and you, pa you are sitting in the passenger seat and uh, you are listening music and, uh, on the way and the navigation always tell you turn left, turn right while you interrupt your music. So this is annoying, right? So in this case, I think that we can equip the focal sunscreen for the driver for the driver and the navigation only project to driver without disturb anybody else in, the, in your vehicle. And the passenger who is on a phone call yeah. uh, sit in the Uber or sit in the Tesla tunnel yes. and then on his seat only with the screen in front of him, he can continue the conversation exactly. privately. Nobody will hear what they talk, what they talk about. Will tell you what, uh, yeah, exactly as you mentioned. So no need to wear headphones. No need to wear And have privacy. Correct. I think about uh, one more scenario that you have a uh, two media player on yeah. your real seat. Yeah. Two media players, sorry? Yeah, two media players on your real seat and then you want to play different movie. Yeah. And in the past I will say the sound will conflict. The sound will what, sorry? Conflict. Because the two passengers want to listen or want want to watch two different movies, right? And then the, the, if they all play the songs and in the vehicle the sound will mix up together. With this technology, you will have chance to allow the two passengers sitting on the real seat, real, real seat will have their, enjoy their own videos and audios together. So how about this uh, market also? Uh, how about uh, airlines? Every seat on the airplane, no need headphones. Exactly the use case. Really? Yes. But uh, there's one problem in the airplane. Uh, you want noise cancelling the noise of the airplane, yeah. but that's not possible here, right? Uh, this is uh, not our target, but yeah. I will say that we are, but good thing is uh, we have chance to transmit the sound directly to your ear uh, without increase the overall environment noise, and especially in a middle level noise environment. You don't need to have a high volume, but you still can transmit the sound very clearly to your ear. This is also the key point. Because I, I, I'm not an expert, but I, the way I understand uh, ANC headphones, yes. the noise cancelling, yes, is some kind of magic where they, in real time, do the opposite wave of yes, the sound correct. to correct. cancel it. Yes, so in theory, on the airplane, maybe you, your speaker can do the opposite wave, and when you sit in the seat, you have more quiet. Yes, it's, correct. This is also possible. It's op it yeah. is possible. It's possible, yeah. All right, but only for mid to high frequencies. Yes, correct. All right. All right, uh, so, so here can is people just buy one? Is it possible to buy this now on the market? Uh, quickly, I will say that will be available on the market since the next one or two months, and we more or less finish everything, and we're trying to finalize the next steps of the production, and then you will see this on the market. All right, and uh, there will be a system to just connect to any side of any display? Yes, correct. Just attach. Drawing this kind of the frame, to support you to attach uh, the glass with the, any size of the monitor or TV set. Nice. Does this uh, stand cannot tilt? Huh? It's only yeah. You could no tilting. Huh? Yeah. Just uh, this way. Yeah. yeah. And if you want to, because monitor you you could tilt up. Ah yeah. Down with the monitor. Ah yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, is your plan to license this technology to many different manufacturers or you want to manufacture everything yourself? Yeah, we are working with many customers and we are working together trying to figure out that they are, uh, our product will be available uh, on monitor, on notebook and there are many places which have a display.